Hi, welcome to a new week and a new month. After such a tragic loss yesterday, I just needed to support the Knights today with bringing back my, my Knights clock. But really, uh, what we're thinking about today is maintaining an authentic Christian life. I have vivid memories of my first primary school sports carnival. We had a one mile race, which was the climax of the whole day. Only the senior students were allowed to race in it. And there was a boy named Ray. He broke away from the, the start of the race and by the end of the first lap, he was leading by nearly half a lap. And he was making ground on the others. At the halfway point, he was three quarters of a lap in front, but beginning to slow a little. And in the final lap, he struggled terribly. He was overtaken and he just couldn't rally enough stamina to fight off the challenge. As a few runners passed him by, uh, he clearly felt defeated and by the end of the race he was back in the field struggling to finish. He ran a, a really fast first half of the race but of course it's how you finish the race that counts. Living as an authentic Christian is very much like a running race. Everything we do will affect the way we finish the race. We can make a tremendous start but if we fail to maintain authentic Christian behaviour the way we finish the race is very much in jeopardy. This is the challenge of living the authentic Christian life. Every moment of every day we need to be consistently authentic in many areas of our lives. Authentic Christian living is important because of, of what the world thinks of inauthentic Christians. Paul was very concerned in case people thought that he was not authentic in his faith. His great fear was that people would not accept the message of the gospel because of his actions. And he wrote in Romans 2 verse 24, God's name is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. Uh, there are many people today who do not reject Jesus or his teaching, but they do reject what they see in Christians and the church. In effect, they're rejecting you and I. They're rejecting every part of hypocrisy, pettiness and inauthentic Christian living that they see. If Christianity is not working in our lives, if the world cannot see that we are better people as a result of our relationship with Jesus, of course they will not take Christianity seriously. What the world needs to see is an authentic Christian life that works. The Bible really teaches that authentic Christianity is hard work. Paul repeatedly describes the Christian life as a race that requires stanima, stanima and perseverance. Uh, Paul's description of the Christian life is one of strain, a runner giving everything he's got. He writes in 1 Corinthians 9.24, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. Therefore, do not run like a man running aimlessly. I do not fight like a man beating the air. I beat my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified from the race or the prize. Philippians 3.13 says, Forgetting what is behind and straining to what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. So if we're going to live an authentic Christian life, we must consider ourselves to be in a race and push on. Well, one more day to think about authentic Christian living and uh, I hope you can join me and uh, we'll think about that again tomorrow. Bye for now.